The design of this room is two back-to-back -back stud walls. After this threshold, the studs are staggered. There is Roxel safe and sound in each stud wall. On the outside, there's a 5 8 layer of uh, fire code x drywall it's heavy dense drywall on the inside wall there's sono pan which is a soundproof fiberboard and then the same 5 8 fire code x drywall so you can see here i have two vent holes duct holes one two this bottom one is the supply so that's where the heating and air conditioning is going to come from and this top one is the return air, so air exiting the soundproof room. I'm gonna take you to the other side and explain how it works over there. What this is, is a baffle box, and it's used to deaden the sound coming from the soundproof room prior to it entering the furnace system so that you don't have direct sound transmission from the soundproof room into the furnace and then through the entire house. Inside the soundproof room, I had the two portholes. The bottom one was the supply, and that's located here. And the top one was the return, and that enters the room through here. So it's designed in a way where both portholes are vertical with each other. The way that the return air works is it's not connected to the furnace at all. It's just dumped from one room to the next. That way no sound from the return vents will make its way into the furnace system. You have an inline fan and it'll suck the air from the soundproof room and just dump it into this room here and one fan helping to push the hot air or AC into the soundproof room. But the one of the reasons that I did that is because the furnace isn't always running. So when I'm in the soundproof room, but the furnace isn't running, I'm still going to need ventilation because it's so airtight in that soundproof room that I'm going to need circulation in there. So these fans, are both gonna be plugged into an outlet here. And this outlet is actually controlled by a switch in the soundproof room. So when I'm in the soundproof room, the switch is gonna turn on this outlet, which will fire up the two fan. And even if the furnace isn't on, the fan will be pushing air into the room and the other fan will be pulling air from the room while I'm in there. Okay, so I've completed the baffle box, the priming, the painting, the connection of the inline fans, and the connection to the furnace system for the supply, and the electrical, and then plugged in these two fans. Here's what it looks like now that it's complete. I ended up going with metal inline fans, um, more for the supply, just because it has better heat resistance and I didn't want to use my plastic inline fans in case they melted. I also went with a semi-rigid flexible duct here for better heat resistance. As I said earlier, this outlet is what powers the, the two fans and this outlet is controlled by a switch in the soundproof room. So I'm going to take you over to the soundproof room and show you what it looks like. So again, the supply at the bottom, the return at the top, and here's the switch that controls the fans. Flip the switch and you'll hear the, the fans engage and it'll start circulating the air. So now there's air blowing out through this port and air being sucked out of the room through this port. And even when this room is sealed up with the window and the double door, um, I'll still have circulation and soundproof circulation at that. The way that 
the best baffle box is built, at least the way that I built it, was I started off with a quarter inch sheet of plywood and I put that right up against the wall. I built it pretty much as big as I could for the space, just big rectangle. And I nailed that into the wall. Actually, you can see it over here. This is how I started, just this piece of plywood. Nailed it into studs, of course. And I added two by sixes to every corner. Kind of making the frame of this baffle box. I put them every corner and then at the middle points. Next thing I did was add the um, quarter inch plywood around these two by sixes to make a rectangular box. Next thing I did was put in two sheets of sono pan in line with with the frame and I really caked in the um, acoustic sealant even in between each layer to kind of add more more soundproofing. I used uh, green glue noise proofing sealant for that. Next thing, build these partitions, which is the quarter inch plywood with the sono pan glued together with noise proofing sealant. I put this first, I put this one in first. I glued it to the plywood behind and also put nails in. Then I added this, this big one here. And then I added each individual um, partition after that. Next thing I did was drill the holes from the baffle box into the soundproof room. I drilled a hole on this side, and then I drilled another hole on this side, and then I stuck a pokey through the thick wall and just poked it through so that I could see a little little tiny little hole on the um, in the soundproofing room there was one one hole at the bottom tiny hole and one hole at the top so then I went to the other side and I properly laid out um, the circles on the top and bottom had them perfectly lined up and they were within the the poke holes like the poke hole was kind of offset in each of the perfectly aligned holes Anyway, drill from this side first and then drill from the soundproof side after and then kind of connect the holes from, from in between. So I drilled the holes and then I put on the uh, same drywall as here. This is the 5 8 Fire Codex heavy, heavy dense drywall. Put it around either side and then drilled a hole here coming through and one up there and then I put in these uh, these ducts. I put in the bottom duct first and put it through the hole, added the uh, plastic port porthole to the other side and then weaved this through and stuck it through and then I did the same here. Pushed this through the hole all the way through the wall to the other side and had it come down and stuck it out here. Still need to add the fans and then to cover this all off. Well, before covering it, I put in Roxel safe and sound in the in the gaps. And then next, I'm going to put a sonopan layer on top of this and then drywall on top of that. And then complete the mudding, priming, painting, electrical installation of the inline fans one to and the connection to the furnace system for the supply.